Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. This is the first chapter for theory machine and mechanism. The scope for this chapter is four bar mechanism. First of all, you need to understand the rigid body mechanics, which could be either static or dynamics. I believe all of you taken these two courses before because prerequisite of this course is static and dynamics. When you talk about theory machine and mechanism, it consists of mechanism or also known as linkages. The linkages is built from different part or link that are joined together. Link is a rigid body that have nodes. It could have two nodes, three nodes or more. Join on the other hand is the connection between the two links. Join also known as kinematic pair. In the exam or quizzes, the question may mention kinematic pair instead of join. Therefore, I expect you to know that there are two types of contact, higher pair and lower pair. Higher pair is when the joint creates a point or a line. You can see an example here. When this link is moved, it will create a joint here. When this link is moved, it will create a line here. Lower pair, on the other hand, will create an area or surface. For example, this link here is freely moved in X and Y direction, which create a surface or area. Number of degree of freedom is determined by either full joint or half joint, where it will create one degree of freedom or two degree of freedom respectively. Full joint is where the joint only allow one type of movement for the link while half joint allow two type of movement for example the joint here allow the link to rotate in one axis only here the joint allow this link to rotate and slide the slot here allow this link to slide along the slot and rotate along this axis therefore this is called full joint where these two are half joint Form close or force close is self-explained here. Joint order is the most important term in this slide where you can calculate it by using this formula. For example, this joint connect two links, so its joint order is 1. This one is also connect two links, this link and this link, so its joint order is 1. However, this joint connect three links, so its joint order is two. For kinematic pair, you can just read this slide. You can also read this slide on type of joints. Please try to remember number degree of freedom for different type of joints. For example, revolute joint, prismatic joint, and helical joint is one degree of freedom. Cylindrical joint is 2 degree of freedom, while spherical joint and planar joint is 3 degree of freedom. I already explained how lower pair and higher pair joint and these two slides show you example of those pair. Now we're going to study about mechanism, which I hope you can read this slide for explanation. This slide shows example of mechanism. Machines, on the other hand, is consist of one or more mechanisms. These are example of mechanism and machine. For mechanism to work, one of the link must be at stationary, or we call it base, or ground link. In example A here, you can imagine the movement in the mechanism if the link 1 here is fixed. How about example B, when link 2 is fixed? Even though the length and shape of the mechanism are the same, the movement is different because of the ground link is different. Planar mechanism is a mechanism that involves two dimensions only. This slider crime mechanism is an example of planar mechanism. Planar mechanism using Grobler equation to calculate its mobility. This is the Grobler's equation. 
M is the mobility, N is number of link, J1 is number of one degree of freedom pair, and J2 is number of two degree of freedom pair. In the slider crank here, number of link is four, which is this one, this one, this one, and this one. Number of J1 is four as well, which is between one and two is one J1, between link 2 and 3, here is another J1. Between link 3 and 4, here is another J1. And between link 4 and ground, here is the last J1. Therefore, the mobility for the slider crank mechanism is 1. So what mobility number represent? It actually represents number of link that need to move in order to make a control movement for the whole mechanism. If mobility is 1, then it will require to move one link to make a control movement for the whole mechanism. It also represents number of actuators required to move the whole mechanism. For a mechanism that has one mobility, one actuator is enough to move the whole system. Sometimes you can get negative mobility that could mean the system is a preload structure or zero mobility that represent a structure. A mechanism should always has a positive mobility. These are example of mechanism which you can try to calculate its mobility. Please try to solve without looking at the answer. However, there are some mobility paradox. In this example, it gives you a zero mobility when you calculate using the formula. It means it is a structure. The same for this system. However, the second system should have one mobility because you can move link number 5 to the left and to the right. This is what we call paradox for the mobility. Another example is the rolling cylinder. You can get zero mobility using the formula but it's supposed to have one or in the case of rolling and sliding, you can get one mobility, but in fact, it's supposed to have two. Idle degree of freedom is another factor that could affect mobility of a system. The idle degree of freedom happens when a link can move without affect adjacent link. In this example, link 4 and 5 can move without affecting adjacent link. You can try these another three examples for mobility in planar mechanism. Calculation of mobility in special mechanism require different formula. This formula is the Kuzbath mobility equation. This equation can cater up to 5 degree of freedom pair. This example shows how to use Kuzbath equation. You can try to calculate mobility for this mechanism. Next, we are going to learn about 4 bar linkages. 4 bar linkages is a loop that consists of 4 links. There are 4 terms that you need to know about the 4 bar linkages. Ground, which is a fixed link. Crank, the link that rotate 360 degree. Rocker, that rotate less than 360 degree. And coupler, the link that not attached to the ground. You can read the rest of the slide here for better understanding. This slide shows a movement of 4 bar linkages. You can see a ground link here where it fixed. This one is a crank where it could rotate 360 degree. This one is rocker where it rotate less than 360 degree. And the last one is coupler where it's not attached to the ground. For a four bar linkages, Grashoff condition will determine type of movement that it generated. In Grashoff condition, there is four alphabet are used to indicate length of the links. S to represent the shortest link. L is represent the longest link and P and Q are the other two links. This slide shows, for example, four bar linkages could be formed. In figure A, the shortest link is 2 and longest link is 4, where the yellow color is the ground link. In figure B, shortest link is ground and longest link is coupler. Figure C, on the other hand, has link 2 as the shortest and link 4 as the longest link. The other two are P and Q. 
you can try yourself for figure D. This slide is explained about the previous four examples movement. You are going to learn how to do this analysis. These three equations will determine type of movement a four bar linkages produce, while this equation will determine if the links could form a closed loop mechanism. The first class of Rushoff condition is where shortest link plus longest link is less than summation of the other two links. Second class is when summation of S and L is longer than summation of the other two links. Class 3 where there is equal between S plus L and P plus Q. For the first class, there will be three criteria depending on the position of the shortest link. If the shortest link is adjacent to the ground, the mechanism is crank rocker. If the shortest link is ground, it will be produced double crank or also known as drag link. However, if the shortest link is a coupler, the mechanism is double rocker. For class 2, the mechanism will be double rocker regardless position of the shortest link. For the third class, where S plus L equal to P plus Q, the mechanism is at a change point where it could be a parallelogram or anti-parallelogram form. The trot form mechanism when the shortest link is ground. This is not a good mechanism design because you cannot predict the output of the mechanism. As an engineer, you always want to know or able to predict position of your output. You can try this example to determine value of R1 for different type of mechanism. That is all for the chapter 1 and thank you very much for listening.